before we uh, get on to the detail, can I first give an update on the condition of the Prime Minister? I know a lot of people be concerned about that. I can tell you he's receiving the very best care from the excellent medical team at St Thomas's Hospital. He remains stable overnight. He's receiving standard oxygen treatment and breathing without any assistance. He's not required any mechanical ventilation or non-invasive respiratory support. He remains in good spirits and in keeping with usual clinical practice, his progress continues to be monitored closely in critical care. And we'll give further updates on the PM's condition when there are any material developments. And I know that there's been a groundswell of messages of support uh, from people here at home, uh, from leaders across the world, and I know that everyone will want to join with me in wishing the Prime Minister a very swift recovery. As you will know, the Prime Minister asked me to deputise for him whilst he recovers, and in line with the Prime Minister's instructions, this morning I chaired the meeting of senior ministers tackling coronavirus, and this afternoon I chaired an update for members of the Cabinet. I think it's probably worth just remembering that as will be the case for many people up and down the country who know someone at work who's fallen ill with the coronavirus, it comes as a shock to all of us. He's not just the Prime Minister. For all of us in Cabinet, he's not just our boss. He's also a colleague and he's also our friend. So all of our thoughts and prayers are with the Prime Minister at this time, with Carrie and with his whole family. And I'm confident he'll pull through. Because if there's one thing I know about this Prime Minister, he's a fighter. And he'll be back at the helm, leading us through this crisis in short order. And of course, for us in Cabinet, we know exactly what he wants from us and what he expects from us right now. And following the Cabinet discussion today, I can reassure the Prime Minister and we can reassure the public that his team will not blink and we will not flinch from the task at hand at this crucial moment. We will keep all of our focus and all of our resolve with calm determination on delivering the government's plan to defeat the coronavirus.